What's good guys, it's Mike, aka Buzz Lightyear here. Welcome to a gameplay I got a few months ago and I just went absolutely fucking ham on this map. I went 50 and 10, one of my best gameplays on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. It's been a few months since I've had it and I haven't had a lot of topics that I wanted to talk about that was long enough for this video. So I finally got a few things that I wanted to talk about. One, I'm going to touch basis on the gun review on the LMG category. I haven't actually ranked any of the guns, so I thought I'd hit that up real quick. And then I just thought I'd talk about life and what's going on with me right now. And oh, oh, real quick, I almost forgot to tell you guys. In about 7 minutes and 30 seconds into the game, I go up against a juggernaut and just fucking shit all in his face. So make sure you check out that, at least before you back out or whatever, if you decide to stick around, great. But if not, make sure you check out about 7 minutes, 30 seconds, because I just fucking destroy this juggernaut. Uh, but yeah, so the gun review. Out of all the weapons that I liked in the LMG category, well, actually, let's just go ahead and pop up the rankings. First place, I personally liked the MK46 the most. Um, as it goes down the list, the main reasons that I put, uh, picked these other guns, the L86 LSW virtually has no recoil as you're shooting it. Um, the MK46 does, but I just liked the way the, the gun swayed when I was using it, so I personally liked that the most. Uh, the reasons I like the M60 E4 is because it puts guys down the fastest of all the LMGs. Oh, if you're using rapid fire or such, I know that it's the lowest fire rate of the guns, but it actually just puts guys down so fast I liked using it a lot. The MG36, it was a lot of fun, but unfortunately, you had to build up the attachments to make the gun efficient enough to actually like. And then the PKP was a good gun, but it just took too long to reload, and it seems like it didn't have very hard stopping power. So those are my reasons and why I liked the LMGs. Uh, you know, if you guys have a different opinion, drop me a comment in the comment box below. Let me know where you rate the guns. I know that one of my buddies, I'm sure you guys know him, Junior Virus, I'm sure he puts the M60 in first. Uh, but personally, I rank it third because of its fire rate. So yeah, with my life right now, it's fucking crazy right now. Like, I just started going back to college just this last week. I'm taking the summer class in Psych 101. Basically, what I want to end up doing with my life is I want to be a... Get, just to get drop shotted on, kid. Uh, basically, what I want to end up doing with my life is eventually what I'd like to do is be a physical therapist. So my degree is actually in kinesiology. And if you don't know what that is, basically it's the study of physical movement. And it's a lot of fun. So far, I'm having a good time with it. I, I haven't been to school in seven years. I actually graduated back in 05. And I didn't know if I'd ever go back to school. But you know what? I figured it's time. I want to actually do something with my life that's uh, worthwhile. Something that can help people. Um, with that being said, that's going to be really, really hard. This, this actual degree, you have to have your doctorate. You can actually be a physical therapist assistant if you want to have like your uh, associates or your bachelors. But if you want to actually be a physical therapist doctor, you have to have your doctorate. So I have a lot of school to go through. I have got like five or maybe even six years. If I do my summer school classes and I do, uh, you know, I get pure A's and things like that, I think you have to have like a 3.0 grade point average. So there's a lot that's going to have to happen within the next, you know, few years. And I'm going to just keep trying. You know, I'm going to keep doing my thing. It's going to be real hard work. I plan on posting at least two videos a week. Uh, you know, get, get pooped on is not going anywhere. And, uh, you know, gun reviews, those are almost over with. But I will find something else to give you guys um, because I have a lot of fun doing this. I don't get a ton of views. But you know what? I love posting Call of Duty content or any kind of gaming content. I just find it to be a lot of fun to get feedback, get people's personal opinions on things, and just to have, you know, the community. I think the community is a lot of fun, and I enjoy playing with you guys. It's fucking fun getting online and having subs join my game and do that kind of stuff. I really, really do appreciate you guys so much. You have no idea. You guys are all fucking badass. <laughs> but yeah, back on track. Um, the biggest thing that I'm, the reason I'm doing this, everyone has inspiration to do things that they do. And my biggest inspiration, to, believe it or not, is actually my mom. A lot of you guys might not know this, but um, my mom was uh, recently, a few years ago, diagnosed with cancer. And uh, what had happened is it kind of spread real fast. It got into her uh, cerebral and caused her to have some type of a limp, I guess you could say, when she walks. It kind of get, it just kind of messed her up. And, uh, you know, I want to have a better under, get to that dub piece. Um, I wanted to have a better understanding of what she's going through and maybe help her out as she's going through it. So it's, you know, it's just something that kind of inspired me. And so I figured now is as good as time as any to go ahead and get into that. Another really big thing that I've just gotten into is it's actually kind of a funny story. I actually just got my first motorcycle. It's nothing special. It's actually just an 81 Yamaha 650 Special. It's old as fuck. It's older than me. Um, but I actually got it for free. So, I mean, how can you complain? It's free, right? Um, the story behind it, it's actually funny. My mom and her boyfriend came into my work and they were talking about it. I was like, you know what? I'm thinking about getting a motorcycle because my truck is a gas guzzler. I don't know if you guys know. I, I, I drive an 08 Tundra. So, the thing just fucking guzzles gas. 
and I'm like, you know what? I'm thinking about getting a motorcycle because I want to save some money on gas, and the insurance for me is only like 20 bucks a month. So you know, what do I have to lose? And uh, it's funny because my mom's boyfriend's like, you know what? I have a bike in my back porch if you want to check it out. And I'm like, oh, really? What is it? You know? So I went over his house and I checked it out, and he goes, you know what, Mike? If you can fix this thing up, it's yours. I, you know, I'm not going to charge you anything. It doesn't work. You know, you're gonna have to put some time, money, and effort into it. Um, but if you want to use it, and you want to have it, I'll sign the title over to you right now, and we can call it a day. It'll be yours. And I'm like, seriously? Fuck yeah! I'll, I'll try. It. I've never even worked on a bike. I've never really, I've never owned one. So I'm like, you know what? My first bike, whatever. It's a good starter bike. Like I said, if you want to look it up, it's not hard. Just Google 81 Yamaha 650 Special. Um, they're a little older looking. He had, it was kind of, his was kind of ghetto. He had this little bug splash thing on it and like a little back seat. I took that all off. I made it look a more modern. I sanded the tank down. As of today, I was trying as hard as fuck to take the carb out. The carb is obviously old as fuck. I don't know if you guys know anything about motorcycles, but the carb is actually pretty much what helps run a motorcycle. And the thing's old. It's been sitting, so you have to clean it out. And I, this thing's just fucking stuck in the bike. I literally just, I disassembled everything. It's like it's just stuck from sitting for so long. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I seriously spent like all day fucking around with that. And I'm painting the rims again. You know, I'm getting all that stuff taken care of. And uh, it's been a long project. So it's just super fucking busy with that. Trying to do commentaries, going to school, you know, hanging out with my wife. It's her birthday tomorrow. So I've got to get, you know, things going with that. I mean, can't get myself in trouble, right? I mean, last thing you want is to get yourself in trouble with the wife. And oh, oh I almost forgot. You know, you know what, guys? This is one thing I want to get your guys' help on with my bike. Okay, so I told you I sanded the tank down and I'm going to go ahead and repaint it. Typically, the actual bike itself has some gay little emblem on it. I had to bondo it. I, had, I took out the emblem that said Yamaha on it. I took that off. I bonded it. So I made it real nice and smooth. But when I paint it back, I'm trying to get an idea of what it is that I'm going to paint it with. Typically, it's just pure black with that actual thing on there. I tried to go Rambo there and it failed. Uh, but what I plan on doing is I want to actually paint it something specific. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Maybe put like a side emblem of like GPO on there. Not not really fucking big or anything. But if you guys have any suggestions or have any links to like photos and where people have like done customized like tank jobs on their paint, uh, throw me a link or tell me all about it. Let me if you guys have your own bike and you have something that you think's fucking sick, uh, you know, throw me a link. Let me know what you guys think because uh, I'd really like to have some input on what I should do with this bike. Because uh, I don't know if it's maybe because it's my first bike or not, but I've been super indecisive about what it is I want to do with this bike. Here, this juggernaut park on. Yeah, just get fucking wrecked, Juggy. Um, but yeah, I really don't know if it's just because it's my very first bike and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm really just doing this step by step. Like, I'll go into a bike shop, I'll ask a few questions, I'll do something like this. Dude, look at this defense right here. Boom. Um, I'll ask a few questions, I'll go back and I'll attempt it. That's basically what I've been doing the entire time. I've been doing things with this bike. I've had, I, I really have like no experience when it comes to this kind of stuff. So it's really interesting and I have like, I have no input or any kind of like bias towards anything. So if you guys or if any one of you guys are experienced on this particular subject and you have something that you'd like to recommend that's legitimate, like don't tell me to do something fucking stupid because I'll just probably ignore it. But uh, if you guys have something that's pretty legitimate, give me a heads up. Tell me something to do because I have no idea what it is I'm doing or what to expect after I'm done. You know, I've just been doing a lot of body work and it seems like it's just never ending. And I don't know about you guys, this is another real quick subject about Call of Duty itself. Have you guys noticed lately that there's been a lot of lag? I don't know if it's just me or if it's the entire community. Now, I know typically Call of Duty's always had some type of lag, but it seems like there's been a lot lately. A lot of host migrating and things like that. The game, I don't know if you, about you guys, but to me the game's kind of getting dull, I guess I could say. I, I, I don't know how to describe it. I've seen, I actually got on Call of Duty 4 again for the first time in like a month. Um, last night, I've been playing a lot of Black Ops and Zombies lately. I don't know if the game's just getting boring or maybe I'm just kind of kind of getting played out. I had a few guys ask me, you know, why haven't you been on playing? I've tried to been playing. It's just, you know, I'm finding other things to do. It's, it's not really so much the fact that I don't like playing Call of Duty anymore. I just... I don't know. Maybe the lag's pissing me off. I don't know. It seems like every time I get into a game, it's really, really laggy. Let me know. Let me know if you guys are having the same problem because I've been having it a lot. Every game I get into, there's some type of like two bar connection or red bar connection, and I'm post migrating and I'm dying fucking gay. Like I'm shooting a guy and all of a sudden I'm dead. I don't know. Let me know if you guys are having the same problem because it's seriously getting fucking irritating. And uh, you know. I have a few other games reserved. I don't know about you guys. I've got Halo 4 reserved and I've got um, Resident Evil 6 reserved. So once those two games come out, I might slow down a little bit with these games until Black Ops 2 comes out. But, uh, you know, it is getting a little annoying with all this fucking lag that we've been having. 
But uh, yeah, anyways, this video is going to be coming to an end here in the next couple seconds. I get like one last fucking streak going here just before I die. I think I get a three piece here. Um, but yeah, so I've just been fucking keeping real busy and doing my thing. Sorry for the black screen. I recorded this from theater mode. But yeah, I've just been doing my thing, keeping real busy. So uh, definitely plan on keeping up with the content and things like that. So yeah. If you guys like the video, do me a real quick favor, throw me a thumbs up, I really do appreciate it. I know throughout the commentary I asked you guys to answer a few questions in the comment box. If you could do that, I'd really, really appreciate that as well. Anyways, I'm Buzz Lightyear signing out. I hope you're all keeping it real. I'll talk to you soon. Peace!